are going to do descriptive statistics for your data here you can see that you have three different types of data okay that is a t different columns of data untreated placebo and treated for this we are going to see how you can do the descriptive statistics a descriptive statistics by column are most often used with data entered on a data tables formatted for a column data if we wish to check the descriptive statistics because that is the basic statistics for every data set which every researchers will do so let's see how you can do it just click here analyze so click here analyze where you will land up with the set of analysis tabs okay in this inside under the column analysis part you have descriptive statistics click here descriptive statistics and click ok so before clicking ok in the right side you can see what are all the columns which are available in your table and for which column you need to find the descriptive statistics if you wish you need to check the descriptive statistics for all these columns you can click all these things or else if you don't want to know for the specific columns for example if i don't want the descriptive statistics for untreated you can simply unselect it okay and finally you have to click ok you will get this pop-up here you can see that the descriptive statistics have categorization like this is a basic statistics which you can check for these are all the advanced categorization this is the confidence intervals and this is the sub column this is the output okay so the first one is the basics so what does that basics means so basics is the basic understanding of all the uh, descriptive statistics that is the percentile okay that is a quartiles mean and mean so this we will be going for the percentiles okay percentiles are useful for giving the relative standing of an individual in a group it is essentially normalized ranks that is the 80th percentile is a value where you will find 80 percentage of the value lower and 20 percentage of the value higher okay so you have uh, different percentiles here so that is a uh, minimum and maximum range mean sd scm quartiles and column sum so these are the different basic level of uh, quart percentiles which we can see here okay that is the first one is the quartile that is uh, the first is a quartile we can you that is it's like a median 25th 75th percentiles can be calculated here and mean st and sem okay so mean mean is what is the average okay sd is the standard deviation if you want to find the standard deviation for that and sem is a standard error of the mean and con confidence interval of the mean sem is a standard error of the mean and confidence interval of the mean okay so that you can find it using the basic level and then you can also find the coefficient of the variation okay coefficient of variation which is available in the advanced call advanced category so what is the coefficient of the variation that is also called as a relative variability which equals the standard deviation divided by the mean okay so this we can also also expressed either in the fraction as a fraction or the percentage and why you should uh, uh, why you should report or see the coefficient of variation is that it will let you compare the scatter of variables expressed in a different units you can compare it okay so next is a geometric mean so geometric mean that is to compute the logarithm of all values and compute the mean of the logarithms and it will take the anti-log 
okay so everything it's all about the basic statistical concepts where if you want to just know the percentiles like this you can go with the basics if you want to know the advanced one you can go ahead like this and the confidence level the sub column is available only if you have sub columns in your data see in this data set i have only columns i don't have any sub columns here okay so that is why it is not enabled if you have sub columns in your data then you will probably you can see okay you can see the difference okay so this is the basic uh, almost this complete thing we will be looking at the statistics that is a basic statistics of the data okay and the skewness skewness is important it's it's better to see the skewness for your data as well skewness and kurtosis skewness will qualifies how symmetrical distribution the distribution is that is if the distribution is zero okay if a symmetrical distribution has a skewness of zero or the sym symmetric distribution has a skewness of uh, a positive skewness that is a long tail to the right okay and the symmetrical distribution have the a negative skew that is a long tail to the left and the skewness is skewness is unitless like that okay so you can also find the skewness so skewness is also an important to measure in the descriptive statistics okay and this mean okay the geometric mean harmonic mean okay so harmonic mean and its confidence so that you can uh, find it that is it is based on the gaussian distribution okay this harmonic mean is based on the gaussian distribution so all these things can be calculated easily without uh, that is without any manual calculation this can be done with the graph pad prism so i'm just selecting quartiles and coefficient variation all the importance so this percentile you can give 95 percentile for the um, that is a how much a coefficient and how much harmonic you wish to calculate and this is a confidence intervals that also you can just check it and finally change this to that is after the decimal point how many how much uh, significant bits you need okay the significant digits you need that you can just give here and click ok okay so you can see that the person minimum um, 25th percentile median to 75th percentile all these care all these values are calculated okay so let's see uh, what is what is generated in the graph okay you can see the graph click here the graph so it will show up like how you wish to like on what measure you wish to see the graph okay so simply click here mean with st mean with scm okay whichever the possible descriptive statistics you wish to see click here and then you can select the type of chart you wish to see okay so i'm just selecting the type of chart if it is individual values then you can go ahead like this if it is a box and violin okay simply click here and then select ok you can see the graph here ok so if you want to change the uh, statistic name that is the name of this ok uh, for example uh, one minute I'll just change the type of graph ok choose a different type of graph here and then I'm just going to see uh, okay what is the type of graph here this is min to max okay line at median okay so I'm just going to change it like a line at medium so line at <coughs> median okay you can also change the color of the graph simply click on the graph so here you have various options in in change okay this is a choose different type of graph this is to format the axis this is the format the graph symbol okay this everything you can try and uh, magic make graph consistent okay and then add or remove the data set resize the graph and here you have to change the colors of the graph 
okay you can change it or even you can if you want to change the font style la, this line at median if you want to change it to times new roman that is also possible so click here change it to times new roman this is also you can just change it to some other uh, different thing and then if you want to add some more text into it you can simply write here that what okay and if you want to change the size okay select here and change the size here okay this is also possible here okay so if you want to change and if you want to export it for example if you want to export it into an image format here you have an option that is click export and it will ask you for various file format if you just click the drop down here you can see various file formats available so click here jpg format which will be the which will be the recommended format and then if you want the higher resolution click here and change it to the higher resolution and then click here actual size okay and you can select in which directory your file has to be changed click here select directory okay and then give the name for the status for the image and click ok the image will be stored in the specified directory okay and then if you want to align or arrange with the group of object that is possible here in the arrange option and if you want to draw any other uh, rectangle like you can just click here and if you want to draw here you can also do it okay so if you want to add some more uh, some more uh, appearance or the properties to your data that is also possible here usually you will not do it okay for, but for your sake i'm just simply telling if you want to draw more you can also do it okay so just explore the uh, explore the various options Okay, just explore the various options here whatever is possible so here directly if you want to cut it to the clipboard or copy to the clipboard so all these possibles are available here just click this possibility and then go ahead okay and if you want to convert it that is if you want to uh, make it as a ppt okay for example if you have various graph you are just adding one more graph here if you want to add one more graph here you can simply click new graph in the left side from the left side okay so click here new graph where you can select the different uh, that is this geometric mean i'm selecting the geometric mean and i'm clicking okay and i'm telling like this is a geometric mean okay so i'm just telling that this is a geometric mean and i'm changing the color as well okay so if i want to export this to uh, images to a powerpoint okay you can simply click here and make it as a powerpoint okay try this and let me know your uh, comments then we will proceed further bye bye